Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Cart Art again. Can anyone else believe that Easter is in a few weeks? It's so early this year that uh, I almost got caught off guard trying to do my holiday projects a little earlier. So what we're gonna do today is paint this Easter ceramic truck. Um, you've seen me paint the truck for Christmas and just to show you, here it is again. And I'm going to do it a similar technique. My ceramics, I seem to do in a similar technique. I'm going to make this a little bigger so that you can see pretty much what's going on a little easier. And if anyone's here, say hello. Hey, Nance, how are you? Yeah, I'm going to switch these around a little bit just so you can see what I'm working on and not just me. Hang on. There we go. Good morning, everyone. And that just dream there. That's the way I want it to look. Nancy, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, and I didn't get to paint the, um, I wanted to paint the ceramic truck for Patty's Day too, which would be very easy just using different colors. But um, Nancy's quite an artist and she's doing cool projects too. I wish there was a way for us to show photos on here, Nancy. You could show some pictures of what you're working on too. But anyways, the um, ceramic truck, the ceramic gnomes, they're all so popular, the ceramic Christmas trees. I wanted to try something for Easter. So what I did is I base coated my truck a dark gray. Lots of times I use black, as you can see on the Christmas one, it's a black underpainting. The reason I do the underpaintings like that is I love the way I don't have to worry about all the tiny details when I'm painting. I don't worry about getting in all the little crevices because there's a color there. We're just gonna dry brush a color on top. I wasn't sure about my Easter truck, what color, so I think I'll go with yellow. You can use any color you like. And it starts as the bisque, just the bisque truck as you would, you know, for the ceramic. I just took, I just took some black and white, just mixed it on my palette. You probably have a gray paint as well, whatever you have you can use. I just use a big two inch chip brush. You can use a one inch or three quarter inch acrylic brush and just paint the whole truck one color. And so here's what I've chosen. It looked very springy and very Eastery. I want to do my truck in yellow. To be honest, I do love the teals and the blues, but since my Christmas truck is that color, I thought I would go with some springy pastels. And yellow's for the truck. I'm going to do the windows with a little bit of white and maybe some light blue just to just do the windows of the truck. I might paint some carrots on the door so I have the uh, orange and green. So why don't I just jump in and get started and we can chat as we go. If you have any comments, just put them in um, in the comments or any questions. I put out two shades of green and a white yellow. I'm not sure how it's going to take. It's very light. The acrylic paints, they're just a water-based acrylic that you can find in any of the craft shops. You can use the little uh, bottles. You can use the tubes if you have them. Any water-based acrylic would be fine. They are a little transparent, especially the yellow. So as you can see, this is really light. And I don't really know that sometimes till I put it on. So I'm going to go and get a little bit of that lighter yellow. Shows up a little more. I don't mind the gray showing through yet. I'm going to leave it. Do one coat, and then I will lighten the paint up as we go. I always like to start a little dark, even on my canvas paintings and my landscapes and all that, if you've painted with me. I start a little darker, and then I build up to the highlights, and then you can add shadows and highlights in. Same for the ceramic pieces. If you mix a little white with any of your colors that are giving you a little trouble being too transparent, it makes them a little more opaque, and we will do that as we go. But I just want to get an initial coat on here to start. I'm not worrying too much about the tires, the windows, the bumpers. Those will all be painted a different color afterwards. I'm going around them, but I'm not being super careful about, um, you know, being, doing every little edge perfectly. I just want to get a little color on this truck. And you can see I'm using brush strokes that go every which way. If you did it all in one direction, especially when the paint's a little streaky, you will look like you... We're painting the wall. We just want to use a little textured stroke, kind of a little crisscrosses, little X's. And say hello if you're watching, because I can't see, I can see how many are watching. I can't see who you are. I'd love to have you say hello and let me know um, where you're watching from this morning. And if you have any special plans, Easter's coming up. Have you done any crafts? I love creating my own holiday decor. 
I love the holiday decor, but when you create some things yourself, they're extra special. They become little heirlooms of sorts. So as you can see, I'm just doing every surface there. I'm going to be inside of the bed of the truck. You could have easily used the big chip brush for this as well. But I like uh, just to mix it up, so I'm going to use this one inch brush here today. And let me know how the audio is. This is a new platform for me, and, and in my end, it's a little echoey, but I wonder if you hear that on your end. So let me know in the comments there if you would. I have lots of really fun Easter projects I'm going to put out there kind of quickly because it's April 4th. I, I was pretty surprised when I turned my calendar and took a look. But we have some really fun. I will show them to you while we're waiting for things to dry here. Some nice wood cutouts we're going to do. I love this ceramic piece. It'll be really fun. I'm going to do the little running boards there, too, as you can see. I know it looks greenish. It's just the black, dark, gray behind. Mixing, uh, showing through when it's looking a little black and green, but that's okay. All right. Hey, Patty from Natick. Yes, and I'm going to get your leprechaun to you. So that is going out today, your leprechaun kit. Wait till you see the wooden ones. They're really fun. I have family in Natick, so I do get down that. And I do um, get down that way. And when we were doing paint nights in person. I used to do paint, paint nights every month at the, um, oh, I'm going to. I'm going to I'm going to forget the name now all of a sudden because I didn't put on the spot. But uh, uh, Morse Tavern. I'm I'm usually there painting with them. So maybe I don't know. Did you paint with me there or um, did you just discover me online later? Because we will get back there again, hopefully in the not too distant future, and we can have some paint nights together. I love painting with you guys virtually, but uh, it was really nice to see your faces and your projects and that sort of thing. Okay. Got a quick one coat yellow on here. I'll let it dry a little bit. While that's drying, it gives me a chance to work on some of the other bits and pieces. I'm going to rinse that brush off and grab a paper towel to get to dry that off. I like to keep my brushes clean as I go. I, I do a lot of dry brushing and I will switch brushes a lot. But if you can, give them a good rinse between paint colors and just dry that water out of them. And just keep your brushes in better shape. You'll be happier. Okay. I like to do the windows, the glass, a light blue. Just going to take some of that light blue I have on my palette, and you know I'm going to switch my palette over a little so you can kind of see it. And I don't really go with particular colors. So if you want to do this project, I will, you know, do a light blue and a yellow. You can pick out just shades you like. It doesn't have to be the same thing I use. I also do. Oh, oh, Patty, yeah, Christine, that's my cousin. Yes. Okay. Cool. You know what? If she, um, I could almost maybe send the kit. I'm going to see Christine tomorrow. I can almost send the kit with her and save the delivery charge on that for you. So I'll talk to you about that later on. All right. So I would like to do my windows just in a light blue to start. Because I'm using light colors on here is why I chose for dark gray underpainting as opposed to the black I usually do with my ceramics. It was kind of a little test just to see how it looks. And back to oh yeah, the color choices. I just Eyeball. Like, what if I like the color? That's how I don't have to worry about um, particular colors. There are some colors in some brands of paint that I do particularly like, and I will mention those if that's the case. But for this project, I do have actually. So, if you were interested in the ceramic truck and you have your paints and brushes and all that, you can watch along here with the video. And I have ceramic trucks if you wish. Just let me know. And what I was going to say is, I also do kits. So, if you are new, have not painted. Very easy project. You can come back and watch this video as many times as you need. You can watch it while you're painting. I'll put it up on the page and on YouTube. But if you would like a kit that includes the ceramic truck, the paint brushes, the paints, everything you need, and a link to this video, I can supply that for you. Just send me a direct message on Facebook. I can give you the details on that. But this is a good technique on, uh, and, you know, any sort of pieces or resin pieces and things that you're painting, I always paint it darker and then kind of lightly add the colors after, building it up as bright as I might like it. You will see how we do that here today. But if you'd like to take a look at the page, the Facebook page, or again, YouTube, my channel is uh, Tinker's Card Art, you will see the video tutorial for the Christmas truck. Now, you can use that tutorial to paint any holiday. You just change up the colors. The techniques are pretty much the same. Can you see in painting? The windows in, in that blue 
And to be honest, I don't think I'll do a couple coats. Maybe if I can see the yellow showing through, but if the gray is showing through, I kind of uh, like that look. I don't like that at all. So there, that's a little back window. I'll get the side window done. I'll go back and paint a little divider thing there. But for now, I'm just doing the blue. Hi, Pat. Thank you from Idaho. What's your weather like there today? We've gotten cold again. We almost had 70 degrees last week, and now we're probably down to 28 or something today. I'm waiting for that consistent, nice warm weather. But I'm not sure what your weather like is like there in Idaho. So I'm just waiting for something. So actually, making some spring projects is kind of fun because that way we get a little excited and look forward to it and have something to look forward to. We turn the clocks back, so now we've got a little bit of light um, in the evening a little more, which is nice, instead of getting to work and coming home from work in the dark. I like when this is drying. It has to be a little shiny, but it's dry now. And I can put my second coat and show you how it's going to really brighten up. So let's just leave the windows just with the light for the time being. I'm going to rinse out that brush. I'm going to go back so you can kind of see what this guy looks like. Hey, it's looking a little bit like a um, utility truck in the yellow. All right. So go back to that same brush we had. I'm just going to make sure there's no moisture on it. Just give it a little dry. And now is where I'm going to add a little white. You can see the paint. Add a little white to my yellow. You're going to be you're going to see how that really will show up a little more. I don't want a big brush load of white now and slap it on here because it's going to be too stre streaky. I want just a little bit of paint. And, and this is the way I paint so many things. A little bit of paint and then build it up and build it up in smaller, uh, lighter coats, like letting it dry in between. So I've got all this paint on my brush. I'm going to wipe a little off. I'm going to use a very light touch. And if you're not sure how it's going to look, instead of doing it right where everyone's going to see it, you can start in a little obscure place like the bottom or the side. Uh, see how it's going to look. So let's just go over to the door here and try it. Okay, see, adding a little white, how much more opaque that paint is and how much brighter. This is more the yellow I want for my Easter truck. I don't really want that greeny yellow. This this is, the, when you build it up, it's nice because you have a little bit of dark under, going through a little bit, and then build it up light as you like. I could go as light as I want with highlights in this, as, as almost a white highlight if I want. I'm just Put coat on after coat, it might only need this coat until it gets to what I like. Of. It's your own taste. You don't have to look like mine. You don't have to look like something someone else. Did. Try to try to strive for your own personal, individual piece. Your own taste. So I'm going to just work on with that mix with the white and just go over everything that I've already done. You can see I'm not struggling too much to get into too many of the nooks and crannies. I like the way it looks when it's a little darker there. I'm going to mix this a little bit more up with that yellow. It doesn't have to be exactly the same shade. It's an old vintage truck. We don't want it to be perfect. And I'm going to go right into the bed now and get that done, the bed of the truck. It was a cold today, as he says. Snow finally melted. Oh, is the audio garbled? That's what I was wondering. You guys, is it? It's a little echoey on my end. And if that is garbled for you guys, let me know, and I will see if I can play around with my phone and get that little better audio for you. I'm always trying out. I'm sort of new at the virtual classes. I'm having a blast with them, but I'm still a little new as far as the techie end goes. So I'm trying to learn all I can and, and get a good quality video. And it's kind of a, a process. So yeah, I'm trying. Fun to paint the ceramics. I know I've shared the story before that um, I grew up in a ceramic studio. I know that we in a ceramic studio when we were growing up. So many ceramic studios back in the day. Do you remember there's one on every corner? And uh, so now that ceramics are kind of making a little comeback, I'm having a blast with it. This is on a bisque uh, truck. It doesn't have to be fired again. It doesn't have to be glazed. I paint it. And then if I like to get a shiny, you can put some hodge hodge gloss finish on it or any kind of gray crayon, shiny finish, satin finish, 
Uh, that's what I prefer to leave because they're kind of vintagey, and you can see it's got a little sheen to it. But it's whatever you want to do. You can add a finish on there if you want to, more like the glazed pieces. And I'm doing light coats, as you can see. I'm using different direction brush with my brush strokes just to give it that vintage. So you can see it's a little lighter now. You can see it's a little lighter. It, I do want it to be a little bit more pastel, and so I and I missed this whole little section. So I'm going to go even a bit lighter now, and then I'll probably leave that. But again, build up your, your layers to where you would like to do it. I'm going to put my palette over here a little bit. It might be a little easier to get at when I'm mixing this paint here. Okay. So I'm going to go a little lighter, as you can see, even, even a little brighter. I know the paint has a little sheen and it is shining a little bit for your view there, but get the idea. Feel free to switch to a smaller brush as you're working if you need to, to get the little areas around the windows and whatnot. I'm doing as much as I can with a big brush, and then I'll touch up just around the windows with a little more of a liner brush. And some of are just looking at it as you go and seeing what you like. There's a few other videos on the page. I did a little quick one painting a little square gnome. The gnomes are great. Everybody loves the gnomes nowadays, right? So you can decorate them how you want. I make little Easter gnomes and Patty's Day gnomes and whatever you'd like. Same with these trucks. You can kind of gear them towards any holiday or season or interest. These little trucks would be cute painted just as a truck. And if you like to fish, you could do a little fishing logo on, on the uh, door and put someone's name on there. I personalize the doors and the tailgate. It's fun, even though I painted this before a few times um, for different seasons, it's always fun to do a new one. And again, now you can build it up as much as you want. If you don't leave the gray showing through, just leave a little bit and just kind of go right along and get it nice and dry. It's drying pretty quickly, so you can just do another coat right when it's dry. I don't really care to, um, you wouldn't want to put the second or third coat on too soon. If the paint underneath is wet, all you're doing is dragging off that previous coat, and that uh, doesn't really do any good for anything. So, okay, so what do you think? It's getting brighter. There, there you go. Okay, for well, the wind now. I just go back and I give it just a little highlight of white to make it look a little like maybe it's clay. Well, it is glass, but taking just a little white. Again, always taking off a lot of that color. I'm just dry brushing a little highlight on there. I only want a little paint. And all I do is just, just a very lightly diagonally kind of give it that little highlight. Do the same thing all the windows. You can kind of see if I tip that up that way. Uh, it might be a cute idea be is to paint the little silhouette of a pony drive. You think of that. That would be kind of fun. Maybe we could add some little details to that. So for now, just doing a little highlight. And let me get the tires in there. I didn't get black paint out, but I do have some black here. And we will paint those tires in there just black. Then what I have is some silver. I cut silver in a little off my palette in a little cup. When we first shut down, paint, they're still hard to find sometimes, but you go into the stores, I couldn't find silver, I couldn't find different colors, but I did have, I could find this enormous quarter, whatever it is, of metallic silver, so I just divided it up into little cups because it will honestly last my lifetime probably. So we will add silver for the hubcaps and then for the grill. Right now, I'm just going to go in with some black. And I'm using my flat shader. These are just synthetic brushes. They're not expensive brushes, but they really do the trick. They do a nice job. If you keep them clean as you're painting, it will last you a long time. But you can go, you know, I do the big areas with the flat brush and then go back for a little detail touch just flip around. But this just gets a lot of space covered at once. There. And I'm going to go back in after with silver for the middle and maybe some white walls for the tires. I'm going to get fancy. 
So anyone work on any other kinds of spring projects, whether it's sorting your seedlings inside or isn't it nice to think we will look into spring soon and sometimes doing those little projects really make the time go by. So anybody got any projects? Thanks, Betsy. I'm glad you like it. I love it. It'll be fun. It'll be a great little decor. And I have, I'll show you where we're going to in bed. You can do almost anything. I just found some little eggs of different sorts. I'll show you. I saw um, a little wooden egg. You could certainly paint, you know, we could paint those up and put them in the bed. And then you could personalize them with the kids' names or something. That'd be kind of cute. You could put the little peeps, the candy peeps, the uh, candy peeps in there. Yeah, also jelly beans. That would be cute. Used to candy. Or just paint something up. This little truck is the plane truck. It's not the truck that goes tree. That's what we do for Christmas. But this one with the empty bed is great for so many holidays. You do a Fourth of July themed one, which would be fun. Okay, so my four tires are painted. Thank you guys for watching. I know I just pop in sometimes here without any warning. And um, it's nice to see some of you here. And have somebody to paint the chat with while I'm painting. This is just the metallic silver. I'm going to use the liner brush. I'm just going to go into that little interior part of the hubcap. Look, I'm giving you a glow by glow report here. <laughs> Sports um, casting like. Okay, and like I said, I'm not super careful. I'm trying to just do the best I can because the little rim here is going to be a white wall afterwards. There, there's that. We have some other little silver bits too. We've got the little door handles. And this little bit can be silver or you can make it yellow. But I'm gonna, since I have silver and I'm done with the yellow, I'm gonna just do that silver. I'm gonna go to the other side do the same thing. Little door handle. And this little divider here on the window. And the middle, let's do the hubcaps again, this side. There we are. Easy peasy, right? I did put up like, some wooden Easter uh, wood cutout just a minute ago on Facebook if you want to look at those. I have them here. I'll show, show you what they look like. They're good size. They're so they're a big door hanger size. They're or, or wall decor. I've ordered some kits, uh, some wood pieces to make kits that are 12 inches, which are the size of that leprechaun everyone's doing. And they are just a little easier, maybe, to paint or great for the kids. So um, I'll have those posted when those come along. I'm just going to do like a little silver rim on the tail light here. And then we can do that bumper. I actually have some, I don't know what it's going to be like. It's some silver glitter I grabbed because I thought maybe on top of the silver we could make it a little glittery. It's an Easter project. You can always add some glitter, right? Okay, so this is going to be just on the bumper in the back since so there's silver. It's covering pretty decent because of course it's gray underneath. Some places where it's hitting the yellow and from the second coat, but I'm going to get that first one on there again and let it dry good before I add a second coat there. But, you could get fancy if you want to do a little liner all around your windows of silver. You can go as fancy as you want. I love to tell the story of the Christmas when we were painting together. It wasn't Christmas. When all the time's gone by so fast. But anyway, I had an in-person class. And a husband and wife were doing the Christmas truck. So the wife painted the truck. And then afterwards, I turned it over and painted the whole undercarriage and the drive. Whatever that stuff underneath the truck is called. Drive train or all that. But hope, hope it was the Best thing, I have a picture of it. He turned it over and he did all that detail. It's a fun little project for both of them to work on. She did all the fun part. He did a nice wreath on the front and he did the under. So you can add as much of a little detail as you like. I'm going to put a little silver right around that front headlight. Inside the light, I'll be white, but in, in red on the, on the back side. Maybe even just the punch since I have orange out. It'll be close enough. And there's not a lot of people that comes in this project. Like I said, there's a handful. I'm going to paint a carrot on the door. You can paint Easter rolls. You can paint, oh gosh, my bunny ears. Okay, so here we have the lights done. And 
And I'm going on with the I don't want to keep you guys here forever watching us with details. I'll go back later and touch up. But you get the gist of it. And uh, looks like it has two other little lights on there. Okay. I'm going to climb here on the front by the lights. Get a little of the bright and yellow. And I just want to tuck it in a little bit around the lights. Just quickly here. Just to finish that up a little better. Same over here. Just kind of go around. Because there's two, and I didn't notice, there's two little lights there that maybe we'll do those with the orange just to give it a little pizzazz. And since I'm here, I'm just going to go that white and I'm going to kind of an awkward angle for me, but I want you to see it. And I'm just going to do it with my headlight. Now, I'm not using a lot of paint again, and I'm not worried about a second coat. I don't mind the, the gray showing through. Especially on something like this, I'm just going to keep that little headlight in there. Feel free to hold this upside down, sideways, whatever you need to. It would be a little easier with this angle, but this way I think you can see, right? Yeah, I've got to kind of see it better. I am do that little guy. There, good enough. And those little orange ones. Since we're right here in the front, we may as well finish off. Now, you could even paint something fun on the bumper or paint a license plate in, paint someone's name, or if you have a vanity plate and you want to copy that and put it on your little truck, wouldn't that be fun? Or put e bunny or something fun to put Easter. Okay, there. And so the same thing on the back, I can put those little tail lights. Since we have the orange, we're just going to do it in the orange. I can hold that up a little so you can see it. I have my readers. When I get to the real fine detail, and do even stronger ones. I mean, readers are my readers now. And we'll paint something fun on the tail. There. All right. Now, I am going to show you one of the white walls. You don't need to do them all. You would do them all, of course. And when I'm doing a little bit more detail work, that's why I'm adding I take a little, few drops of water and add it to my paint. Just when I want to do something a little finer. When I do the writing on here later, I'll do the same thing. Paint has been sitting out. I just want it to flow a little nicer for me rather than drag. So here I am. Just going to get a little white on here. And it's a little difficult at this moment, but I do want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Let me move that upside down. And I always have to go back and touch up, so don't think it's going to be going to get it all perfectly in one little go. We put the white on, and we have to touch up with black or well, the silver. We can do that. I'm almost using a little ridge that's to get my brush right in and go right around. It's looking a little wonky. This is a little bit of a wonky vintage truck, so we don't need to worry about that. It's sort of round. That's what we want. Okay. And if you didn't want to, you could skip it all together. You wouldn't have to even put the white wall in. You could just do it all tire. I'm sure it would help if I put my stronger glasses on. All right. You get the idea. There, we've got one done. I see that I need to touch up. It's going to bug me, so I'm do it real quick. I just want to touch up a little bit on with the silver now. There. So I'll go back afterwards and paint the wall. Oh, I'll take some better pictures too and put them up so you can really see the product. And like I said, this is going to stay up. You can you can watch me now, but you're welcome to come back and rewatch the video anytime. Get your little ceramic truck. And you can go back. Like I'm just touching up a bit. I'm not going to take up too much time and do that, but afterwards I will. I'm going to touch up a little bit in pieces. So let's see. We've got most of our truck painted, right? Now it's fun. Time for the details. Okay, I thought it would be fun to take care of some doing and write something. And I've got to decide what. So, any suggestions? Let me know. Easter Bunny delivery service. Um, carrot top. So, think of something fun and go put it on. But on yours, you can put something fun on like that, or you could put your name like Hughes Easter Delivery or Hughes Egg Delivery or Hughes Egg Farm. You can do whatever you'd like. But I'm just taking my liner brush. A little of that orange, and I'm going to just start here, make a little wider bit, and kind of bring it down. And that's going to be a carrot. The stroke is like press down, press down, lift up, 
And if you lift that brush right up off the canvas, it has no uh, reason to not get a nice thin edge. So it's the same thing on this side. Let's go over here. I'm just going to press the brush down and then lift it to get a carrot shape. You can even wiggle it a little bit if you want kind of a wiggly carrot. There. Those look pretty carrot-like, right? Yeah. Okay. I picked a green that's kind of, I, I don't know, it's a really pretty shape. shape. I just got um, um, yesterday, and it looks a lot like my background there. Yeah. The green. It's a nice shade for Easter. I thought it has a great green So, so I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of water to the that I paint down. down. And I'm just going to add some little carrot tops. Now, now, I, I like this green. I picked it out very well. It doesn't, it doesn't really, you don't want to you put it on. The, the color, color did not work. Just add a little dark green or something else to it. So I'm just, just I don't remember what carrots um, the tops look like, but it's just, just a little bit of fuzzy carrot top there. If you want to get fancy, you can even shade them after the color. And they're fine like this, but if you wanted to. And I'm just giving a little carrot tops. Okay. Now I have to think of what to write on there and what to write on the back. Now, to do your writing, a little fine brush with a little Make sure you have a nice point on that brush. I'm going to put it in my desk. Remember, you can use a paint marker. So, I do recommend paint markers sometimes for details, signing your name. Well, there's many brands. I use a lot. I really like they come in two clips. You can get a really wide one. It's Posca there, you can see it. And our thin one, and they come in all colors. So if you wanted to, you could certainly do your writing with this and not worry about, um, you know, having such uh, good brush control. So feel free to use a marker if you like. And let me see. I some thoughts of what I was going to write. I'm going to brush here. Here we go. Get this going. And what was I going to write? Let's see. Any suggestions for you guys? Any thoughts? I'm going to probably do black so it can really show up. Again, you could use any color you want. And a little more black. Like that. I want to really put it down. There you go. Just need a little bit. I just want to be cute to get out of the black, but I thought I'd get my money's worth out of this one and use it. Adding some water. And I think, let's see. I don't think I've put my hands in something wet. Be careful there. Yeah. I think I'm going to do uh, maybe something with cotton tail. Maybe cotton tail. Yeah. Put it down. When you find it, you just drag a little bit just a little more water. And cotton tail. Again, think of something fun, something personal, even personalized. Cotton tail delivery. And I put these carrots pretty big. If I made them a little smaller, I might cotton tail across the top delivery service or something. But can you see, you can really personalize it however you want. I would put it on both sides. Uh, and then something on the back. I would just have an Easter. You could do whatever you like. You could do happy Easter. If you could get fancy, it would look to if you wanted. But I make my lettering, I make it kind of wonky on purpose. I make big and small and big and small. And that way, it's not perfect. So if you were trying to do it perfect and you made one little boo-boo, you'd be kind of upset. But this way, they're all wonky, so it doesn't really matter. So I make a big E, small A, and just random. You know what I think I'll do? Another couple carrots on the edge there. So we'll just put another couple, maybe a couple, maybe just a carrot on the side. 
Can you see how I do those? I really just sort of get a good brush load of paint, press down, wiggle a little bit, and lift it right up. Get a nice little hair shape. And we'll just add a little leaves on that. So that was pretty simple, right? What do you think? I know that was hard to do to say I didn't have it up the size. I should sure, so you could kind of just do some little there. Pretty cute, right? Not a big, but you can make them smaller if you like. All right, so our interior truck is done, except for the little details that I'll go in and work on later. There, what do you think? Oh, I'm going to show you what's in the back, too. A couple of ideas. Uh, like I said, a little wooden attitude you can put a little uh, candy peeps in there. I bought this little uh, carton of these little, I don't know, paper mache eggs at Michael's in the dollar store. You go and they have all the little decor you can use. But wouldn't they be cute in here? Just putting them in the bed. And like I said, you can even paint like all your kids' names, one on each, grandkids' names on there. Actually, let's put the other one in. That's the trust you know. There, that's pretty cute, right? Let's see, so you can see. And they're falling, they're falling up. But my other thought was I found these eggs at the dollar store. And they're huge and glittery, which me, which is why I think I want to use some of the glitter on the bumpers and whatnot. But look at the one big egg sitting in there. It's pretty cute, right? In all colors, dollar store, so they weren't very expensive. And I just thought, that's kind of fun. All right. So that's that. But while I've got you here, let me show you some of the wooden cutouts that I put together as kids. So you could buy a certain truck. I do have them. Finish the truck. If you'd like a whole kit brushes and paint and everything, I can do that too. Just send me it. It's easier to send me a message here on Facebook. You can, you can put it in the comments, but it's easier to send me a message that way I sort of get it. And I can reply back and give you the prices and, and whatnot. The wooden cutouts. You'll see the pictures of them all painted on the Facebook page. But here's one. And this is kind of um, uh, a gnome. Pretty cute gnome. Wear a bunny slipper. And happy Easter on the side. The good thing about these wooden pieces is it feels pretty smooth, but these little lines are etched. So you have something to go by. And it's nice because you can paint this and you'll still see the little etched letters to go over and fill in. And your brush always stays away from the little lines sometimes. So it really makes it an uh, easy paintable project. I usually take a smaller brush and just outline it and then just fill it in with my flat. You can see like a picture of them all done, but you're welcome to do them any way you want. Those are available as kits too. Include everything. It's 18, 18 inches tall too, so he's a pretty good size. Um, this guy too, they're all 18, but this is a three-dimensional one. So you'll paint your your gnome, and then you'll paint these pieces, and then they get glued right on. So it gives them some dimension, and then you can place your beads. It shows you a way to place them. And it's really kind of cool because then you've got the um the little dimension look to it. So he's a little uh, be kind gnome. So he's good for spring, not just Easter. He's good for anything. This is my favorite. Wait, you see this guy, this uh, bunny. So we've got this bunny here wearing glasses. I always want to put glasses on my painted animals. Little eyes, I'm going to paint separate and blue one. And the little rose gets painted separate and blessed. So this little bunny, you could use the blessed on here or not. You can use that little space to paint something else on. Happy Easter or just happy spring, and leave it all spring. And um, I'm going to paint the little glasses like in a leopard print, which is kind of fun. You can do polka dots or solid colors, whatever you like. Take a look up on the page, you'll see pictures of them all done. But I want to show you because they're a pretty good size. And next, we'll have some projects that are only 12 inches, though they're a little smaller, and uh, those will be available too. So, if you have had some people with the eggs, um, or oh, the egg, big one. I don't know which are the best, but I like them both. And thank you guys for popping in, watching me put the ceramic truck. Let's do that. I had to see it. And I didn't put my writing there, but look at this. And any questions, put them in the comments so I can answer. I'll send you a direct message. Any inquiries about kids? Certainly. No, I have plenty of uh, ceramic trucks. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoy your day. I will see you next time.